He's Boz, Top X. We're back for another episode of Top 10 Things. And today, Boz, we're talking our favorite all-time top 10 months of the year. So how have you been? Where you been? I've been around, been alive. I'm here. I'm pumped about top 10 months. I'm pumped about doing a top, top 10 episode. We hadn't done one of these topics episodes in... A while. I don't even remember what the last topic was we did. Do you? It's been, it's been forever. I think we sort of tossed the last one that we did. I want to say it was like something to do with Scream, and then it just never aired for whatever reason. Was it Top Kills? Or it might have been the Top scenes? Kills. Yeah, Top 10 Kills, Top 10 Scenes. It was something, and it never aired. I sort of probably need to put that out on the uh, membership only since it never made. Oh, it might have been Top Killers. Might have been. I don't know. I don't know. Um, has but there yeah. been 10 killers in Scream? Anyway, what we need to learn how to do is record like four of these in a row. And then we've got something for four straight months if we wanted to, or, you know, eight, you know, six weeks, however we want to do it. Yep. But I figured I'd start getting you warmed back up now because October is quickly approaching. And we can't have you rusty when we run some of these classic movies by you. Oof. It's going to be great. So. For everybody that doesn't remember how Top X works, our top 10 favorite months will start at the bottom and we'll work our way to the top in order. So, Boz, would you like to go first? Or yeah, you I'll like go, first. go first. All right, number 10. This is the 10th worst month. Or the 10th best month. This is the 10th worst. Uh, it's going to be January. Oh. And reasoning is uh, pretty much weather-wise. Uh, I hate cold weather, despise cold weather. Um, and January is the month, immediately after December, obviously. And you realize that January, all the, all the, all, all right, December, January, kind of similar, right? But you know what makes December great? The lights, the Christmas lights. It hides the cold gray bismal atmosphere that is winter and as soon as those lights are out we're in january and you realize holy cow everything looks gray and nasty weather's awful it's cold uh the only redeeming quality of january is playoff nfl football but that does not take it over anywhere near the top it's still 10 on my list Okay, so my number 10 of the top 10 best months, I'm not going depressing like you, top 10 is January. Hey, well, look at that. My, yeah, you go. My wife called it our love month because personally, that's my wedding anniversary. It's when I got married. Okay. Uh, a lot of my stuff echoes what you said, except for the depressing stuff. You got bowl season. Bowl season's wrapping up. You got the college national championship for football. You got playoff football for the NFL. Uh, you're right about the lights coming down, and but it's still you got New Year's Eve, which I think is highly overrated. Yeah, the weather's cold, but it's still sort of holiday-ish, but it's going away. Good point, though. I don't know if you exactly said it like this, but when you think of January, if you had to pick a color, I think it would be gray because yeah, everything does good. seem a lot grayer when the, the lights come down. So, and if you want to go wrestling wise, you've got the Royal Rumble. I'm not that big of a wrestling fan anymore, but I do watch the Royal Rumble in January. And plus, it's the start of a new year. You got all these uh, New Year's resolutions you can break. I'm going to get skinny this year. I'm going to not be crazy this year. I'm going to do this. I'm going to be nicer to people, things like that. I'm going to make more money. Three weeks later, none of that yeah. yeah. stuff's on the table. So, I think it's a, you know, it's kind of weird that we both had uh, the same number 10. So, back to you, number nine. All right, number nine. We're going to be way different on this one, I got a feeling. September is number nine. Uh, the horrific heat. A lot of these are going to be weather-based, by the way. <laughs> uh, the, the, uh, the awful uh, heat of September. No, just nothing, nothing about September. Even as like a kid, you were supposed to get excited, uh, or some people got excited about going to school. No, no one. Not this guy. Not going to school not going to high school or college, whatever it is, kicking off. A lot of people are excited about sports, like, you know, particularly I know baseball is getting near the postseason around that time. Football is ramping up. High school is great, you know, college, football, NFL, all that. But still doesn't do it much for me. I, I'm not a big fan of September. 
Uh, September 11th is another reason uh, it's another a terrible month. Yes. There you go. I got a feeling all of yours. Look, for people that don't know, both uh, Boz and myself, we're from the South. Uh, I'm from Mississippi. Boz isn't. I'm not going to give his location. but I am all, from Mississippi. But I'm yeah, not he's originally from Mississippi. I'm sorry, Boz. But now he lives somewhere adjacent to Mississippi. Anyway, here's the deal. It's always hot <laughs> down here. So with us saying, you know, with Boz saying the heat in September, some of you watching this, you know, somewhere else around the country might be like, no, it's starting to get cold. Then no, it, no. You know, it doesn't get cold down here until like December, maybe January. Yeah. We have Christmas Eve and Christmas sometimes is 87 degrees. Yeah, so. it is true. My number nine is February. And I'm not picking February because of uh, Valentine's Day. I'm not picking it uh, because of the weather. I'm picking February because of the Super Bowl. The one sporting event that almost every group of people, you know, organize a weekend around, even if they're not sports fans, is the Super Bowl. Every it's it's must see TV. Hundreds of millions of people watch it every year. Doesn't matter if your team's in it or not. Everybody always calls in sick to work the next day. It is an event. It makes the month. And I understand that it used to be at the end of January, but now it's firmly in February the last few years. Yep. So I think I can confidently say that February is Super Bowl month, and that's the reason it's number nine. All right. Spoiler alert, February is not on my list, so that shows you what I think about February. Uh, July, number eight. Uh, you know, I really don't have anything, like, July's just kind of there. Like, it's not bad. It's not great. Uh, it is ramping up for the heat, though. Um, it's great golf weather, though. Uh, great outdoorsy weather, running weather, uh, hiking. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of, it's not a great sports month. I'm not a big baseball guy. You know that. I'm sure you love July because it's I right do. in the middle of baseball. But, uh, yeah, that's me. My number eight is May. I had a long talk with my wife about this. I didn't know where to put May. And she's like, Cinco de Mayo, Memorial Day, Mother's Day. May's a great month. Plus, if you're a kid, school is winding down and getting out. It feels like the start of summer. I don't know what the official start of summer date is, but May is sort of when the weather, you know, warms up. There's no more cool spells, as we say here in the South. Uh, also, when it gets rainy, but I like May. I really do. I mean, it, 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 it's, when it's, it's, yeah, it's when it starts to feel like, okay, summer's here. Let's rock and roll. So number eight is May. Now on to number seven. All right, number seven, I've got March. Another one of those months is kind of like, I mean, it's just like, it's, the grass just looks horrific outside. Everything's ugly, but redeeming quality of March, March Madness. Huge month. I really get into March Madness every year. I, it's so much fun. I kind of, March is kind of when I kick into my golf. Like I get prepared for golf. I go three or four months straight without playing golf when it's cold and awful. And like I said, the grass is dead, but yeah, so March for number seven. I got September for my number seven. Uh, you you said it all earlier, September the 11th. Uh, we got tons of stuff in September. It feels like the fall weather here in the south sort of kicks off in September. There will be a couple of days where it's not 130 degrees. <laughs> so that's like a relief. Uh, you've got the NFL starting in, in September. You've got – you're a month into high school football. You're almost a few – you're a few weeks into – college football it, it, it's a good time it's a good time it's when the sweltering heat has ended hopefully and okay. you start to ease into what we call here in the south you know almost fall so yeah. september number seven on my list i've got number six i got june we got father's day great boy there's not much after that uh june is kind of another one it's like july june and july right there in the middle of the year to me, they just kind of, they're just, they're together. Yeah, I think of both of them together. And for July, I should have mentioned it's July 4th, but I don't, it's kind of overrated holiday to me. I'm just going to say it. Uh, Jesus. It's just another day to me. Uh, <laughs> day off work. That's what's great about it. You okay? I'm great. Okay. Just checking that, making sure. <laughs> Every one of these are so depressing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not depressing. I said Father's Day, June. Hello. 
I like Father's oh, yeah. Day more than I like July 4th. I can't help it. I guess it. I associate Father's Day with depression. God. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm just speaking about my father. Uh, you won't believe this, but my number six is also June. And my only note beside June is it's when all the vacations start. That's when people start taking trips to the beach. Uh, it, it Summer is here. It's party time, but it's not really fully here, if that makes sense. I mean, it's like all the weather is always pretty. Uh, yep. Sunny days, green grass. I love it. So June means it's vacation time. It means it's starting taking trips to the water park, trips to the beach, trips to the zoo to see the uh, giraffes almost dying from the 100 degree heat out there it's great i love june that's my number six it's oppressive heat all right we're in top five now top yes. five we're getting into the good stuff here right i hope so I, on your end i really yeah. hope so i'm worried all right may mother's day school is getting out vacations are starting uh what else we got beach this is a great this is an underrated yeah underrated beach month i think you could say, in my opinion, the second best month to go to the beach. Uh, so, yeah, shout out to May. Top five. Great month. We're in it right now. We're there in it. There you go. You know, when this video gets released. <laughs> hey, this video was recorded in May. My number five is April. Okay. A lot of this is repetitive. Okay. Pretty much this. April, baseball season starts. And for you smart asses in the comments, Yes, I do understand that at the end of March, they play some games now. But April's the official start of the baseball season. We get the Masters. We get WrestleMania. So it's a huge sports month uh, at the, I almost said my last name, at this household. <laughs> uh, so I enjoy it. I mean, and also April is, you know, we start to see green again around yes, here. You yes. start to see green grass and blue skies. So it's really great. I love April. Yeah, I mean, again, March, it's just the grass looks like food poisoning. It's rough, and April it starts turning. So top four, uh, I've got November. Great weather in November. We're getting cooler temp. Uh, we're, we're getting into hoodie season. Uh, Thanksgiving, a fabulous holiday. Sometimes, depending on how you work it out, you might get the whole week off for Thanksgiving. Great. That's a huge benefit. Football season. To me, that's when it starts really ramping up. Depending on how good your teams are, me and you, we're both fans of teams that are mostly good every year. And yep. I feel like September, it's like, it doesn't really matter what happens in September. As October, November uh, start going, things get serious. That's when you start needing to win some games. And so, yeah, November, great month. My number four is July. July the 4th, grilling. The beach, hot dogs, it's a great month. Yes, it's really hot down here, but, it, I mean, you lay out like Al Bundy with the Hawaiian shirt on and the swim trunks. You're out playing in the yard, sliding down the slides, uh, playing with the water hose. It's great. I love July. When you think of July, personally, when I think of July, I think of America because of the hot dogs and the grilling and fathers out in the backyard, whether they're fixing the yard up or cooking, it's just a big deal here in the South. And unlike Boz, I think July is not overrated. I think it is the perfect, the perfect holiday month for America because I'm a real American. All right. Number three, speaking of the perfect holiday month, let's get into December. Let's go December. <laughs> Christmas. I mean, what else do we have to say? Christmas. This could have been number one almost. Christmas is phenomenal. Tons of PTO is taken this time of year. You're off work. You're not worrying about nothing as long as you saved up all year for the Christmas gifts. Otherwise, you'd be freaking out. But if you plan well, it's okay. Um, Boss, for those of, for those watching that don't have jobs or have never had jobs, what is PTO? Paid time off. Paid time to get away from work. Uh, let's see. Oh, bowl season. Now, the most important bowls, you would say, are in January, like the first and second, stuff like that. But but like 80% of the bowls are in the end of December. Matter of fact, this year, December's going to get even better. We got college playoff games kicking off in December. We're going to have crazy stuff going on. Uh, NFL gets real ramped up. Uh, like I said, cold weather, hoodie season again. 
We're going to get new hoodies for Christmas. I mean, what else do you, the, the music, the lights, everyone singing, hallelujah, happy Hanukkah. It's fabulous. December's 3rd. I could have had it two or one, but anyway, there you go. I'm pumped. See, I'm getting excited now. There you go. My number three is October. I've often said it's my favorite month when making this list. I quickly realized it's not my favorite month. Halloween, scary movies, orange sky, decorations in the yard, trick or treating, candy, kids wandering around everywhere. October is the full moon, the color of the sky again. I'm repeating myself, but it's just the ideal month. I'm a big horror movie guy. I love Halloween. I love looking at people's decorations, spook houses, uh, trail walks, all that stuff. I love October. That's my number three. A lot of horror movies get consumed in October, obviously. Oh, yeah. 31 days. Also, I hate October because 31 days. So it's a love-hate relationship. I can see that. All right, number two. We're in the top two here. I'm going to go with April, primarily for the weather. Phenomenal weather month. April is great. Grass is turning green. Also, the Masters. Masters is a, for me, is a huge event every year. And uh, so it's right there in the middle. Uh, usually we have Easter in April. Uh, I think we had it in March this year, I think. But most yeah. most years it's in April, which I think, you know, it's awesome. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go April number two. November. <laughs> November, sorry, I died. Yeah, November. November is my number two. That's officially to me when the holidays start. Yeah. And here in the South, the holidays are a huge deal. Uh, everybody makes a big deal out of Thanksgiving. Families gather up, we eat. You've got that smell in the air that smells like holiday. I don't know how to describe it, but it's always smells like something's baking or roasting the food. Oh my goodness. The food, Turkey, Everywhere. boss said it, bowl games, the NFL games on Thanksgiving, uh, getting together with family, eating to your miserable, laying around, falling asleep on the couch. It's how can it be any better than that? It's great. I mean, if you don't have a family, I guess it's terrible, but everybody's got a little bit of family. And if you don't, it well, probably sucks. Listen to this right now. But for those of you with family, you understand that it's amazing. It's great. You gather up with everybody that you love eat watch tv there's usually some kind of movie marathons on yep it's good it's, it's a great month all right so we're in our top month here right number yes one? number one number one i'm trying to uh think about what your number one is anyway all right here we go october october i mean halloween you you said you said almost all this stuff halloween uh so the great all the the leaves are changing it looks gorgeous outside this is a this is a, an underrated golf month by the way leaves are changing everything looks beautiful out there you get pissed off when you can't find your ball because there's leaves everywhere and it's probably rolled under one of the leaves football's great my anniversary is in october uh my first born is in october the last four or five times we've been to the beach as a family it's in october october's phenomenal beach time and wow, I didn't mention that my firstborn was in October. Wow. It's all right. Uh, you saved me. This year, we're going to the beach in October. Again, it's just great. Uh, weather's good down there. Uh, lines are short. Uh, everything's half off. Phenomenal. October, number one month. Love it to death. Can't wait for this year. Oh, 31 days of horror. There you go. That's the biggest. I mean, October. that's the biggest. Again, back to Halloween, though. Great, great. Everything leading up to that month. Scary movies on every night. It's phenomenal. Love it. We get we get to waste a ton of time making thirty one reviews that nobody watches. All right, my number one is December. How could it not be oh, December? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Christmas, Christmas. It's you you feel it at the end of Thanksgiving. It's like Thanksgiving until Christmas is just one long holiday, and you get mad that you actually have to work during that time. You're like, it's still holidays. What are we doing? Yeah. Same thing I said about November. Uh, the food is amazing. Gathering up with family, buying presents for people, watching my child opening up, opening up presents, mm. watching her and her yeah. mother decorate the Christmas tree on November the 30th or whatever we do it now. It gets earlier and earlier. I love it. Christmas tree, Christmas lights, the weather, 
for the mm-hmm. most part is usually great. It starts, it's starting to get cool consistently. Uh, I love it. I love it. The holidays, the eating, the Christmas, and the feeling after it's all over of, man, that's another one down. And I wish it could have lasted just a little bit longer. And not to mention the memories. You know, all of us as kids have those memories of Christmas and how great Christmas was. And whether it be a present that we opened or a smell from hugging our grandparents or our parents or, you know, just a good time that we had hanging out with family. And all those memories are triggered whenever, you know, a a new December rolls around. So, you know, and us with kids, we try to do our best to make sure our kids have those types of memories that we had because we want them to look back, back on it and continue the cycle. So, you know, when I started this list, I thought for sure October was going to be my number one, but more I thought about it, it's November and December, something special about that time of year. It's like people are nicer to each other during that time. And it's just like the way everything should be all the time, I guess. So, so you know. I think I could be wrong here, but I think we had, we both had December, November and October in our top four. There you go. I think I, I had April really high and you had something else in there that not April, but yeah. Three of the top four we had uh, the last three months of the year. Phenomenal. Phenomenal month. Hit us in the comments, guys. Rank your top ten favorite months of the year and tell us why. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you want to. It helps the channel out. Boz, I'm glad we got to do this. It's good seeing you, man. You too, Great buddy. seeing you. Uh, you had me worried after the first couple of ones. I was like, Boz is depressed again. Here we oh, go. No. no but no. you I finished up, up to, the, to the best. You got a sweet little background working there. I've been waiting the whole time for somebody to walk in and uh, sneak up behind you and grab you. I told Uh, the kids, leave me alone. Your outfit is fantastic. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Toodles.